Playing percentage tennis, high percentage tennis. Now, how often do you hear players or even you hear yourself saying this? You get off a match and you say, if I was a better tennis player, why did I lose? Very often, it's because you or that player are hitting small targets. You're taking a large amount of risk, right? It's not the highlight reel shots that win matches. It's just the boring shots that do that. So very often what happens is people will go low over the net and they're going to aim for the lines right here. How often I'll ask players, where was your target? They're out in this area right here, they got good court position, and they miss the ball wide. And they come over and they place the ball right on the line. That's your mistake right there. High percentage tennis is about hitting height over the net. You go three to five feet over the net and hitting far away from the lines. Preferably about three feet to four feet away from the lines. So it's a big target, so the margin of safety is much greater. So you have more area within to miss with still making the shot. We, uh, we, took to take a look, we took a look at the pro statistics and we try to increase or sorry, decrease our unforced errors. So by playing far away from the lines with big targets, we go in with the shot, we can make eight out of 10 times. So we're increasing the public probability we're gonna make the shot versus going for the shot, we're only gonna make two out of 10 times where we increase the probability we're gonna miss. So you wanna make it easy on yourself first and difficult on your opponent second. So hit the big shot, the big target. And if your opponent does get there, now what they've done, they've given you another opening. So we talk about using combinations, what we'll cover in the course. Now you've got them here, you hit another big target, now you've got them on the run. If they get there, you have another big target right here. You do not need to go close to the lines. You do not need to skim, hit net skimmers. Right? Playing percentage tennis is about hitting big targets and going with height over the net and with the understanding I don't have to hit a winner on this shot, but I'm going to stretch my opponent where I have a big target and I could possibly hit a winner on the next shot. The margins in pro tennis. Now, there's some metrics that came out from On The Tee and they've tracked all the points played in the Australian Open from 2014 to 2016. So when they looked at the, the, the men's side, they, they couldn't determine whether or not somebody was aiming for the line, but what they did is they made a determination that if a ball was hit within seven inches of the line, they considered it that the pro was aiming for the line. So they found that between two to seven percent of shots land within seven inches or 21 centimeters of the line. Then they said, well, in the regular rally ball, what percentage of balls are landing close to the line? So they, they took a, a metric of one meter, which is about 3.2 feet. And they worked out that on average, amongst the top players, about 15% of balls landed within 3.2 feet of the line, or one meter. So that means that the other 85% of balls were landing inside of that. So it just proves that pros play more towards the center of the court, they play big targets, and they play away from the lines. Now there were certain outliers, for instance, John Isner, they found he played 27% of his shots within that 3.2 range. But the best players, the top players, the average is around 15, 15%. Now we we'll talk about the height of the net. The average height of the net for the top players was about two feet, that's the average. Now to visually demonstrate what two feet above the net looks like, I've used my tape measure and put this yellow rope across the net and that's two feet above the net. So that's the average for the more the flatter hitters. The dull is actually a little bit higher than that. But that's the average ball. Now to give you an idea, during the finals of the 2017 men's um, Australian Open final, Rafa Nadal against Roger Federer, Nadal's average rally ball height was uh, it was more than four feet above the net. So we take that and we double it. So as you can see, the pros use a lot of margin. There's a lot of safety in their shots. They don't often miss in the net. So they go with good heights over the net. They keep the ball away from the lines. They play more towards the center. And if they do go close, close to the lines, it's, it's between two to 7% of the time which that happens. So the big difference between pros and club players and amateurs is pros don't go for the lines where amateurs and club players do.
Hey, this is Florian. I really hope you enjoyed this incredibly important tip from Greg. Most players do not realize how close they're aiming to the lines and how little margin they're giving themselves. And once you change this, really good things will happen for you on the tennis court. So I highly encourage you to rewatch this and make sure you apply this on the court. Most likely, subconsciously, you're aiming too close to the lines and you're hitting too low over the net. Right now, we'd really like to hear from you if you're using any targets at all when you play, and if so, what targets you're usually going for. Do you aim towards the lines? Do you aim a certain height over the net? Or do you just aim right at the spot on the other side of the net where you want to hit the ball? Please let us know in the comments section below this video.